We joke about the political nerd fights in Austin, but truthfully, a lot has been done, including the only thing they really have to do, and that's the state's two-year budget. It's been finished, $248 billion worth, on the way now to the governor to see if he wants to veto any part of it. And Mr. Abbott's signature is all that's still required to make the latest expansion of Texas Tech's university system official. Lawmakers approving the merger between Texas Tech and Midwestern State, in Wichita Falls. MSU will be the fifth school in the tech system. Also getting done, a deal to let uh, Texans carry handguns without a license or any training. Police groups were not happy about this, but a change made to allow officers to question people solely because they were carrying the weapon. That helps move things over there, but not for those worried about the possibility of another mass shooting incident here. Our John Engel takes a look. I was at church on August 3rd. El Paso Representative Joe Moody remembers the call. A gunman had opened fire at a Walmart in town, killing 23 people. Moody joined Governor Greg Abbott in speaking with the families of victims soon after. When the doors were closed, I heard lots of promises. I haven't heard them since. Momentum behind gun reform that emerged from that 2019 shooting now meets the political reality in Texas. The Republicans are in a position where they don't have to make compromises. The state legislature is instead moving forward with fewer restrictions in an effort to make Texas a Second Amendment sanctuary state. Even on a big issue and an emotional issue like gun control, it might not be the case that they're willing to budge because they've got a base that they have to placate. And in a rare move, Texas's permitless carry legislation could retroactively apply to more more than 130,000 criminal cases since 1974. Those with a felony conviction for unlawful carry could get their case expunged and be able to own a gun again. And some more procedures are going to be needed. Those are going to depend on where the person's located, what the state of the records are, and what else is going on in that person's case besides this one particular conviction. It's a fight Moody didn't expect to win, but a moment he couldn't pass up. The tragedy will come to your community come to many others community and it's going to come to yours too because we fail to be responsible to the members of our communities across this state. John Engel reporting and we'll be back with a final word. Hi, this is Shane